So recently, I got a message from Airbnb stated that my account was suspended and they have to do further research to see if my account will be suspended indefinitely or if they will let me back on the platform. Dealing with this all feels like I am back at a job. These Airbnb complaints are just insane and crazy. So for example, you know how you at your job and let's say you're a customer service agent like I was working in a call center and a customer says, hey, my account is in the negative because your company has a $35 overdraft fee on my account and I want it removed. So when I worked for the bank, we had a process to see if they can get that removed. So we put it in the tool to see how much they can get back of the $35. And in some cases, people got nothing. Other cases, they got a little bit back or so. Obviously, the people who got nothing back, they now wanted to report you to a manager to give you a bad review. Now, in that banking call center system, if you got a bad review, and you know how you guys get a survey for a customer survey agent, and it's one through five, one being the worst, five being the best, if you hit that one, that could potentially mean my job or like my bonus is gone, like out the window. Like I don't get a bonus because I got a one all because I follow company policy. Airbnb has the same similar type of system, whereas is rated on the customer experience. But sometimes the customer is not always right. The customer lies and them lying can get you kicked off the platform. This is why I feel like I'm back at a job and I'm considering just walking away from this. Now, I do hope since I told y'all that information of how that one through five customer service system works when you ask to get those surveys, you guys start considering giving out fives because this can literally mean those people's jobs or their bonus for that quarter. So please take that into consideration when you have a customer service agent and they send you those surveys. I know, I do. I make sure they get fives, especially if they gave me some good customer service or something beyond their control that they just can't do because it's just company policy. I'll still look out for the cookout and give them a five. Okay, so with my recent report card from Airbnb that's about to get me fired, well, it all started November 6th through the 11th, right? Uh, and I'm gonna put this on the screen for you to see while I go through these things. They said I encourage a guest through to cancel, okay? So I encourage the guest to cancel. The reason why I told the guest to cancel because I couldn't cancel it, right, on my end. What I did next was I told the guest, hey, cancel because of my house got broken into. Being that my house got broken into, they stole my furniture, they stole my all my TVs, there's nothing in the house currently. They had this against the door. They must have been sleeping in here. They must have been here a few days, right? They took every TV in the house, every TV in the house, right? They tried to take the washer, but it was uh, hooked up. This is the office, right? They took my printer, took the ink, broke into the closet um, that has a key to it. They broke the handle. So therefore, I need to refurnish the house. So I need you to cancel because I can't accommodate. Well, you know, obviously that person, I guess reached out to Airbnb like, hey, I need to get put somewhere else because your host told me that, you know, that he couldn't accommodate due to somebody broken his house. Now, I submitted this to Airbnb multiple times, including the police report. I know some of y'all, well, did you get a police? Yeah, I gave them the police report, but Airbnb does not have customer service agents in America. They're um, outside the country. So therefore, I don't know if they even really fully understand me. And if you guys know that, you know, um, when you call one of these customer service companies and they got agents outside the country, you never know what you're gonna get. And you never know if they understand you or not, man. And shout out to Canon USA. Yo, I love Canon. I have a Canon printer because Canon actually uses 
American customer service agent. So when you have a problem or anything like that, you can call them and get it resolved and the person understands you and you understand them if that makes sense, right? So shout out to Canada for keeping it American, right? They dinged me for that. Even though I told them multiple times and sent them the police report that, hey, listen, the reason why I had to cancel because my house got broken in. Remember, I told you that and I had to refund these people. That's totally fine. When well, they say, yo, you should have called us and let us handle it. Well, I called you multiple times and for me calling you, I could never get through. And I just got pushed through, hey, send us a text. And then when I send you the text and I message you guys, it took 24 to 48 hours to get back to me. What did you want me to do? Oh, well, sometimes we get busy. Well, if you're busy, obviously you couldn't handle my issue. This is a real conversation with the, the agent. So move along. Somebody had, December 1st, somebody had, they were planning to, to have Thanksgiving dinner at my house. I'm cool with having Thanksgiving dinner at my house. Well, they gave me a one-star rating. The reason why they gave me a one-star rating is because I had plastic bowls and plastic plates. So, if you go to Walmart, you put in plastic bowls or plastic plates or walmart.com, whatever, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. They claim I didn't have enough silverware to accommodate everybody for Thanksgiving dinner. Well... There was enough silverware, but I didn't have more than enough. I got ding, I got a one star rating. I explained this to Airbnb. I never in my description put that I have fine china in my Airbnb. Oh, they also complained about how they had to eat Thanksgiving dinner because I didn't have a traditional dining room table that was long enough to accommodate everybody. So I messed up their Thanksgiving. But the pictures are online of everything that I have. Like the pictures are there. There's no dining room table. But what happens, I get dinged for that. I got a one star rating, whatever, right? Now, and, and trying to get them to remove this stuff is, is insane. January 19th, right? So check this out, right? Now, dealt with the broken in November. I learned from that. I put cameras on the unit, right? I put cameras on it. So I got a camera in the front door. I got a camera on the back door because I learned from my experience. You know, I don't go through life, I grow through life. So I had a couple come to the house, right? Boy and girl, I don't know if they're together, whatever the case may be, but they said, and I have not had any bookings prior, but they said the house smelled like smoke and it was dirty. I have a cleaning crew that cleans the house every time, whatever, but they said the house all oh, had a strong smoking smell. They use things that you can't take a picture of to report me, right? And I'm looking at the the doorbell, right? I'm looking at the doorbell. And what happened was, because I wanted to see if her story matched up with what I actually seen visually, what I could see. She said, oh, the place was dirty, and so therefore I got small children. And as small children, they put things in their mouth, and I don't want them to put these the furniture and all these other things in their mouth, and it's dirty. I don't want them to do that because um, they're small children. Looked on the camera, there was no small children. It was a man and a woman. Looks like they had some type of argument and then they left. And when they left, they didn't even lock the door, all right? Fortunately, they stole my soap from the sink that you could wash your hand, your hand soap joint. They stole my uh, hand soap dispenser, but whatever. I can replace that, right? So I'm telling Airbnb this, like, hey, listen, they want a refund based off this. And in my messages, the lady stated, Oh, if you don't refund me, you're going to, um, you getting a bad review. And I'm like, yo, what? I didn't respond after that. I just sent everything to Airbnb. And guess what happened after that? They got to the point where it's like, hey, we may have to fire you. So I then had to send them all the evidence for everything, explain them everything. Um, the police report again, hey, I got broken into, I couldn't accommodate those people. Hey, I have camera footage. There was no kids involved. They looked like they had an argument. They left my stuff unlocked. So after about a week or two of reviewing, because, and during that week or two, that your account's suspended. You can't take any more um, bookings, okay? Um, if they're not already on your calendar. And they, they finally came back and they decided that, hey, we are going to let you back. And it's like, man, I don't know if I want to deal with this because you guys, the guests have as much 
power as a call center supervisor. Like they snap their fingers, my job gone just like that because the supervisor said I did something wrong. You know what I mean? So I'm like, bro, I don't know if I want to deal with this. This Airbnb madness. So I went out and put my uh, frustration out on social media on Facebook about me dealing with Airbnb. And I've had multiple other comments of people saying they dealt with the same exact thing. One girl was calling herself the Airbnb queen. She's getting away from that. This particular individual, she's located in Charlotte. She was telling me like, yo, she had to get away from them Airbnb to to just, just so far has uh, protect her sanity because she would have guests, they come in, you know, this is what they do and this had to happen to me before. Let's say they got a three days stay. Well, on day three, they'll start complaining about everything. Oh, you didn't have this, you didn't have that. This is not there, this is not there. And they know they can call Airbnb and get a refund. So this particular guest, right, said that the people had bed bugs, which is serious. So she called out the exterminator like, yo, I got bed bugs, etc. And he's like, yo, you, you, there's no trace of bed bugs. You don't have any bed bugs here. And she's like, what? I ain't got no bed bugs. She took a picture, reported to Airbnb. Airbnb still would not remove the negative feedback of the fake bed bugs claim. They gave that guest their money back. And it's like, yo, dealing with this, I go out, I gotta pay this man because, you know, these vendors don't work for free. You know, they, if they make a trip, you still, they still gotta get paid. At the cost of debit, dealing with that, in those guests, she said she stepped away from Airbnb and, and at this point I am considering the same thing. I got a three bedroom, one bath house that can get 1300. There is a shortage on rent. There's some agencies that said they'll pay 15 to 1600 a month and I don't have to have a cleaning lady and certain things in place and it's just consistent income. It's like, yo, all right. Yes, I can make more with Airbnb without a doubt. I can make way more, but like, What's the price of your piece? And at this point, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but maybe like, have you had a bad experience with Airbnb? Like what's the price of your piece? Would you stay or would you leave? You know, I make, I make more money with Airbnb. It's just that I got to deal with petty customers who will make things up just to get their money back. But check this out. What I want you to do at this time, I want you to click on this video next to me, whereas uh, my Airbnb got broken into because technically it was a vacant house sitting, so somebody took advantage of it. I didn't have any cameras. And you're going to be surprised at the way I found out that the house got broken into. So click on that video.